Michael Hoover? Well, we've tried doing the deal with the French. The deal's basically considered of us uh, giving them tens of millions of pounds and them taking the absolute mick out of us and doing the square root of absolute bugger all month after month after month. So I think we've tried that and it's completely failed. Actually, I'd be going on the offence and actually embarrassing Macron's government, the fact that the authorities have so badly failed to stop what is a very dangerous situation. As for the rewanda plan, I mean, of course, the government haven't actually put this into effect yet. So there's going to be a lot of scrutiny, obviously, around how widely the government implement this. Are they going to follow through on it? What are the legal challenges going to look like? How long are they going to last? And I think the end of this, actually, as Theresa May talked about when she was Home Secretary, actually, leaving the ECHR, the European Convention on Human Rights, is ultimately what the government are going to have to do if they're going to get a handle on this. And I repeat the point that I made when I was on the view before, Michelle. This could cost the Conservatives the next election. The numbers that are being talked about, 28,000 last year, between 60 and 100,000 people this year, it's astonishing that it's been allowed to develop year after year after year. The numbers get higher and higher and higher. The government needs to stop this. They need to stop giving the French money. They need to embarrass Macron's government by taking the boats back and revoking French fishing licences. The French authorities have totally failed and they should take responsibility for this as well. But you no. send out the deterrent, you know, the message, that there's no point making this dangerous journey because you're not going to have to stay. And to be fair, you know, I'm hearing a lot of criticism from, you know, the, the Labour side, other opposition parties. What I'm not actually hearing are any alternative solutions, not to have more discussions. We've had plenty of discussions over the last two years. How do you intend to stop this? And I think Priti Patel as Home Secretary is obviously under huge pressure, but her Nationality and Borders Bill, you know, and this measure is something, I think, that could act as a deterrent. The problem I think you're going to have is with the legal challenges, is with the ECHR, but make no mistake about it, if the Boris Johnson's government don't get a handle on this and stop the boats coming, if we see 100,000 people this year, 150,000 people next year... Not only will this dangerous situation get even worse, but millions and millions of uh, Conservative voters will not uh, go and vote Tory. It will cost Boris Johnson's party the next election. Well